Kuzmenko ready to jump over the boards. It's because he was injured on the play and it blowed the play down that he'd have to leave the ice. Sorry for using blow. Yes. My mother, the English teacher, would be appalled. Here's Pedersen, watch the battery. Ripped it wide. 95 miles an hour on that one, Texas. Hughes. Hiller wanted to load up for a shot, I think, but the puck didn't stay with him. Two-man advantage continues. Miller across. Pedersen blocked by Grover. Besser wins a battle for the puck behind the net. 35 seconds to go in the period. Miller shoots, blocks. He's right going for real. Besser couldn't put it home. Miller feeds back to Hughes. Under 30 seconds to go in the period. Here's Pedersen. Quinn Hughes. JT Miller back to Hughes. He shoots. Skinner the save as he swallowed that one up with 20 seconds to go in the period. Brock Besser was just stationed off to the blocker side and got his stick down in time. After the Miller shot was blocked, swatted away, and it's just off the side of the net. Off his knee and then off the bottom of the stick. And I like this version of Quinn Hughes, the shooter. Well, I was heading into last season. He said he'd taken note of how many more shots Roman Yossi had than he did. That was two years ago. And then worked on the notion of shooting more and also working on his shot prior to last season. And Early in this preseason, we're certainly seeing the results and a little bit of a different type of player. Here's Pedersen in across. Kuzmenko hit the side of the net. And that'll do it for period number two. As the Oilers are now down to just a one-man disadvantage. But what a period for Quinn Hughes, who scored twice and had opportunities to add the hat-trick goal. His team leads by one, heading to the third. Martin and Faisal coming up again. Murph with more from Ian McIntyre and Satchaw. 2-1 Canucks lead after 40 minutes.